Hello everyone and welcome back to Shreyasi. I hope you all are well and good. Please do hit the like and subscribe. It really means a lot. And first and always, I hope you all are well and good. So today I want to discuss some topic that really hurt me today with the news that's come out. And I want to discuss about it. That is Ethan and Pudu. And Ethan and Pudu is on verge of joining Leeds United. And that really, really bugs me. And I'm very, very disappointed with that. But again, see, for me, the club is always over anything. So for me, I'll always keep packing the club. I'll always keep packing everything. So that is something that I'm always very like uh, forefront for me. I'll always for me the club is above. But it doesn't mean I cannot. Be disappointed, and Ethan Ampadu is a player I've always rated for a very, very long time, and I always wanted to see Ethan Ampadu break in the first team. Like even under many managers, he has straight away been sent to loan, not given fair chances in the team. Ethan Ampadu has been played in so many positions at Chelsea in pre-season, whether he's playing a centre back, whether he's playing a CDM, whether he's sometimes playing as a right back, and the guy has mostly excelled in every time he's been given a chance, but the chances have been rare and very few. Ethan Ampadu is a player who is defensively very very solid. He is a player whenever he gets the ball in his feet, he is really really good with it. Some of his passing range is really really good. And Ethan Ampadu for me was a player who could have done well in the Pochettino with the team having young players like Casada and Santos as midfielders and. Rumors are that Casarai will go on loan to Leicester City, but Poch wants to see him first before that loan deal is green lighted. Andres Santos is still very young. Casero deal is like still not fully done, and nobody knows when it will be done. And we are still only left with Enzo and Chukameko is more of an attacking minded midfielder. Like I always thought that Empadu could be a person that could be rotated with some of these players to give them rest, and can be the person you can bring from the bench in a CDM position. He can even play as a centre back, and he's a very good player with his feet. And I thought under Pochettino, who is known to give young players chances, uh, a manager I really wanted. I thought Empadu will be given a really, really fair share of chance. So it's a bit disappointing in that regards. And I think Chelsea were waiting for the right amount to sell him. And I think finally, when they got the right amount, Chelsea green lighted it. So it was never about opportunities. I think Chelsea were just waiting for the offer. And Leeds United came with an offer of seven million. Plus some add-ons, and Chelsea have already agreed to it. Now, as you can see in the news as well, that Chelsea have inserted a sell-on clause, not buy-back clause, which is for me somewhat. I think that they've done a good job in this because I think Ethan Ampadu in the future will be a 45-50 million pound player. So I think if Chelsea have inserted a 25% sell-on clause, so we can like. Earn some money from that nine or ten million, but I think it's still a massive mistake. I think we should have put a sell-on clause around twenty percent or fifteen percent, but we should be putting a buyback clause of around thirty million because in the future we might really regret it. Just like Billy Gilmer went to Brighton for nine million and now we regret it. I think Ethan Ampadu is a player just like for me Trevor Chaloba, just like for me in some of Ruben Loftus-Cheek before the injury. The fans always sleep on these players. We. Go on other young players and rightfully hype them, but I think these are some players we have not really like look forward to. And Ethan Ampadu is a player who has always been loyal to Chelsea. Go on, gone on loan spells, did well, has gone on so many countries now with loan experience. Is a player that never complains, always turns up for pre-season, always gives his best. And I think we could have used him as a squad player this season. Could have got some opportunities, and if we saw him do well, then we should have really kept him. Or otherwise, if we sold him next year and gave him opportunity, I would have understood it. But selling him now and not giving an opportunity for a mere seven million, when I think this player is minimum to minimum thirty, forty million worth player, I think it's a massive mistake. Many people call me idiots to say he's not thirty, forty million worth. You'll see in some year time, because I think Ethan Ampadu is a player that can can do very well. He will play as a CDM sometime for Leeds. He'll play as a centre back sometime for Leeds. He will be very good with the ball in his feet, and I think Leeds have got a really good player on the hand. But again, there's no point to be disappointed. I think see, at Chelsea we've seen many heartbreaks with so many youngsters always leaving, and it's not a surprise. It's something we are always used to. And I wish Ethan Ampadu the best of luck at Leeds United. For me, Chelsea is the biggest thing. So in the end, even if Ethan Ampadu goes and does well, for me Chelsea is the biggest thing. But I wish him the best, and I'm very disappointed in Chelsea. I think he should have been given a fair chance. And it's not like Leeds are paying us 20, 30 million an offer we cannot refuse. Like with Mark Gouy, I somewhat understood. Okay, Palace are paying you 20, 25 million, and we still have so many centre backs on the book. For a mere seven million, I think Chelsea have rushed into it. But fair enough, I'll back the club. And I think if the decision comes true, I'll praise them. But right now, I think it's a blunder. So hopefully, people do put your opinion in the comment section regarding Ethan Ampadu. And do you think I'm really blabbling, or do you agree with me? Should be given chances. But overall, thank you, man, for watching. Hope you have great days.